Hey there folks and welcome back for another shaving video and today we're going to use Shannon Soap's Amaretto and this smells like um, almond, cherry, uh, scent is about four and a half to five right in that middle range just a nice almond or cherry uh, type of scent the price on this is about $2.99 less than three dollars which is excellent but before I get to this I want to show, show you what the fine folks uh, Shannon and Brian sent. I'm always going back and forth with Brian about Cleveland and how I I grew up and I hated the Browns because they're always on television and this is a this is Brown Steelers market all the rest of it. Anyway, uh, I had also made a tweet after the Indians lost um, the World Series that good thing we don't have to hear about Cleveland being the city of champions for a hundred years now. Well, guess what, Brian and Shannon send me. The Cleveland <laughs> City of Champions soap, which I will uh, actually give away to a Cleveland fan who will really appreciate that at some point. But anyway, that's not all. Sent me a nice note too, which I appreciate. This one really, I, I laughed, I got a chuckle out of, I, I can't lie. So they sent me a, a friggin' brown shirt. Uh, it does have Shannon soap on the sleeve there, which is nice. <laughs> and then my name on the back, I mean, Browns, Browns people. I mean, they went to a lot of effort to do this, so it was really, really nice. And since they put my name on it, it keeps me from giving it away to somebody. Um, but really, really uh, nice. So thank you, Shannon and Brian. Uh, my wife and I got a big chuckle. They also threw in some uh, bath salts, um, which my wife appreciated. So thank you, guys. I really did get a chuckle out of that. Um, the humor is not lost on me, and uh, I do appreciate it. And I'll give away this Cleveland soap to a legitimate um, Cleveland fan because uh, there might be someone who really wants that. And uh, I will give it away in your honor, Shannon and Brian. So thanks once again. Very, very funny. You got me. You got me. So today we're going to use uh, Back on Point here. I'm going to use the Amaretto shaved by uh, Shannon's work, Shannon Soaps. And uh, these are really good quality soaps. I think you'll find the lather to be really, really nice. She's really uh, worked on her soap over the last, I don't know how long she's been making soap, a couple of years, maybe longer, I don't know. But uh, you'll see when I uh, put this on, it, on my face, it has a nice sheen to it, which is a really nice yogurty type lather. And uh, we got a load, so let's wet the face and get going. Stay tuned. All right, so let's see how we do today with the Shannons. Um, like I've said before, it's a really good quality soap. Um, a lot of people may not have tried it. You probably should find a scent that you like and give it a shot because on a quality basis, it's really, really nice. My issue um, always, you know, finding a scent that I really like and one that was um, nice and stout and I found that the other day and I can't even remember which soap it was what was it <clears throat> heck I can't remember but anyway it was great and I was like this is the Shannon soap I've been waiting for and this one here is nice too it's a little bit less um, stout and that is important to a lot of people because people do get are sensitive to certain uh, ingredients so uh, anyway, really nice lather here. I can tell you, based on my experience, that uh, there will be no quality issues at all. And uh, these are the really nice people. You know, uh, went out of their way to send me that gag gift. Not, um, not as a quid pro quo or hoping that they would get anything out of me because... Um, I always reviewed their soaps and found them just just outside of that um, preferred artisan status, as it were. But now that I have a few scents that I really like, um, it's really in there, you know. And so, anyway, I guess they were just uh, excited, and we have a lot of fun on uh, Facebook. So, really nice people. Look where the water is. Uh, see how milky that is? 
or how yogurty, where it just got a little water on it. See, it's not just cutting through the soap. It, it's, it's, it's quite yogurty and slick. And uh, does make the face feel swell. So there is pass one. Very, very nice. We'll come back for pass two. Yeah, I like to go back and forth with uh, Brian, who's a big time, uh, a big time, I should say. Browns fan. Whoa, is Brian, all right? I think they're 0 and 8, or I don't know, maybe 0 and 9. I can't remember. I got to, I have to admit, my Jets have cooled quite a bit on the NFL. Um, as a result of all the disrespect to the flag. And some people don't care at all. And that's okay. If you don't care about it, you have every right not to. But uh, it's kind of turned me off these pampered and entitled Folks, you know, they can't stand for the national anthem for three minutes, you know, and and Kaepernick, it turns out, has never even registered to vote. He's up there here whining about the system, and never has he in his life um, went to the polls and uh, exercised his civic responsibility or civic right and responsibility in my view and if you're upset with the uh, the candidates I mean there are still candidates for president I should say there's still a lot of local races that determine a lot of things you know some argue that local politicians and the selection of those are felt much more than even at the you know the national level politicians. Anyway, um, I, you know it just turns it has really turned me off. Still love the Saints. I still try to catch their games and listen to them. I listen to them on series if they're not on, if they're not televised because I'm not in the Saints market. But um, as to the rest of the games where I used to sit and watch football all day and then I'd catch the Monday night and the Thursday. Not anymore. I, it's just turned me off. All right, that was a great second pass. Stand by for pass three. Now, the scent on this uh, Shannon's Amaretto, I would call it more of a um, sort of a mellow, toned down. You know, it's not that in-your-face cherry or almond scent that some soaps have. It's, it's a sort of more relaxed, mellow blend, I would call it. But it's nice. And no burning on my face or anything like that. And uh, the quality is, is really quite wonderful. Um, I've never had a, a quality issue with Shannon's soap. She makes a really nice, nice soap and sells it for a very, very nice price. So if you haven't tried it, maybe check one out and see what you think. I think you'll find on the quality basis, they're um, quite good. And uh, I have found a few scents that I enjoy as well. So that makes it nice and uh, certainly ensures that I will go back and, you know, buy from uh, Shannon's. Despite this fact, they sent me a Browns shirt, my friggin' name on it. It's funny though, you gotta admit. I mean, when, when someone gets you, they get you. You gotta give them props, I mean. I thought maybe it was a towel or something because it was tied up in a bow-like thing. And I was like, oh, you know, I can I can give this away on the channel to a, a Browns fan. And they'd really appreciate that on behalf of Shannon. And it's got my name on it. And I said, well, hell, I'm stuck with it. Unless, <laughs> unless I can find a Bailey who likes the Browns, which it's hard to find a Browns fan anywhere apart from Shannon and Brian. So where am I going to find a, a, a Bailey? There's no one in my family that likes the Browns. Or I mean, when I say when I say likes the Browns, I mean there's no one that doesn't hate the Browns, the football team, not the you know not the people on the team, just the Browns. So I can't find anybody to give this to, so I'm stuck with it. You know, it's terrible. 
This is going to be like, you remember the Brady Bunch when you were growing up and they went to Hawaii and Greg or Peter or somebody found that idol and then bad things started happening and they had to take it back. Where they, that's what I need to do with this because it's, it's probably bad luck. They should have sent me a Cubs jersey or something. Winner. Anyway. I've had my fun. And they've had theirs. And my wife laughed too. It was funny. So thank you once again. Brian and Shannon for the, for the humor and, and all the rest of it. Alright, there was a nice three passes. We'll come back and do the post. Stay tuned. All right, so let's get to the post today. A little Thayer's magic because it's made by witches. And uh, some people will look at the video and go, uh, man, you showed your name. Well, yeah, I always say, you know, well, I'm Chris Bailey. It's, it's well known. I post these videos on, you know, Facebook under my real name um, because I'm not a kid playing on the Internet. I, you know, as I always say, I like for it to be known, folks. And I don't have a problem with people using screen names when they're known. You know, Nick Shaves or the Clean Shaver. Everybody knows who those folks are, and they just use the screen name as, you know, for their channel. And that, that's swell. But uh, those opinions I value because they're not just kids playing on the Internet. <clears throat> so today we're going to use... Folsom and Company Capri. I wish they were still making aftershaves because they were really, really good. And this is a really good one that reminds me a lot of uh, Razor Rock Triple X and scent. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Sorry to reach in there on you. Uh, let's review very quickly the gear. I don't think I even mentioned the Razor. Um, twist to open, open comb. I forget what this one is called. Uh, Don sent it to me, you know, last year. Um, really, really nice razor that I like a lot. Of course, you saw... Whew, tongue twisted. Of course, you saw me using um, Shannon Soap's Amaretto, which is uh, very, very nice. Just a, sort of a mellow almond uh, cherry soap. Don't look for, um, you know, it to pop huge right out of the... Uh, um, tub because it's not it's not that like uh, sterling black cherry where it just bam pops it's a sort of a mellow uh, relaxing sort of cherry or almond in my view and uh, there we go Plasson still doing it after all this time all right folks thanks again for uh, watching and remember until next time let's make America shave again